Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to learn about the GAF Arc GIS map. Before proceeding to some practical example, let us understand about this chart type. What is Arc GIS? The full form of Arc GIS is the aeronautical reconnaissance coverage geographic information system. This map had been developed by an American company ESRI. An ArcGIS web map is an interactive display of geographic information that you can use to tell stories and answer questions. If you want to know more about this chart type, you can explore, you can google it about this graph. Now let's go to the Power BI desktop and try to explore this type of map how we can use in our project implementation. Now we are in Power BI desktop. So for experimenting with this chart view, let us go to this help example sample data set. Let me load the sample data set first. We select financials and load. So our sample data set is imported. Now we are going to select this Arc GIS map view. Okay, here we have different type of login option. We can use uh, our online login or we can add some location based data. So, but I found the easiest option is this sign in option. In the sign in option, you will get different type of option. I am going to use this GitHub login. As I have already logged in with my GitHub credential, so that's why it's not prompting me to provide my credential details. But for you, the first time, you need to provide your GitHub login credential or you can use your Google login or Facebook login, etc. Now, I'm going to select this, uh, this country field in the location area. Okay, so by default, whatever the country value I have, those countries are highlighted here. Okay, now uh, for example, I have the sales value, profit value. Now I can add the sales value in the site section. For uh, let me check if I select this sales value in the site section, what will happen? this uh, bubble are in different size. That means the based on the sales value, the bubble size are displayed accordingly. Now, if I just move this sales value to this color option, what will happen? This country's values are colored in a different type of uh, color option. Okay, so the, all the graphs are in different color option. If I just if you see, if you just mouse over, you'll find out this country has this total cells. Okay. Now, if I select this country, then I have this cells value for France. Okay. Now, if you want to add in the tooltip section some more measure value, what you will do? Just add this profit value in the tooltip section. If you select this, then you can find it out. For Canada, this is the total sales, this is the total profit. So in this way, you can do some permutation and combination with different type of measures or any dimension fields, etc. Okay. Uh, let me add this segment value 
where I can add. Let me duplicate this graph, okay, and try to experiment a different version. If I duplicate this, I have this. So I just duplicate this one and let me remove this or, or let it be the tooltip section. I'll just add this segment instead of cells value here. If I put the cells value in the size area and put this segment value in the color area, what will happen? You will find this magical bubbles, okay. So here, uh, if I move this uh, cells value where I don't have anything in the color section, so it's a single uh, bubble. Now, whenever I'm putting this segment here, it is showing as a magic circle, means like multiple color options are there based on the value, okay. So here the segment values of government, uh, we have this total profit, total sales. If I go to the next, then I'll find it out the small business, then enterprise and all those options. You'll find it out that all color are denoted in a different, uh, for the different segment, okay. So this is a uh, two different way to display these ArcGIS things. But what else we can do? If I go back to this page one, and if I select this option, here we'll have different type of properties. Let me check what else we have. This is a view, view a list of layers or the map. If I select this one, choose the background or visual context. Select this. Here we have different type of map option. If I select this map, so our map is a diff uh, the different background has been displayed. If I select the street view, street view color option. What else we have? If I select this uh, this feature, then it will add context to your data. So let me select this one, and here we have this infographic reference layer, buffer or drive time, find a similar. So you can explore all this option. Let me select this infographic and it seems like we can select some values from there. So I feel for this graph, whatever the data we have, it will display that way. So for example, the popular variable is the total population. So if I select the total population, it's showing me the total population of for across all the value. So let me check if I, let me close this dialog box and this country is like United States of America. What is this country? This is our Mexico. When I select this Mexico, here our population has been changed. However, the country name it's, it's, it's showing United States, okay. So there is some mismatch. Uh, we need to find out how we can uh, define this variable in a proper way. Though, however, these type of informations are not available in these, uh, in these data sets. So it's adding more features in your graphical representation wherever you are using this ArcGIS. That means, from your data sets, you can't define the total population or, or any other values. But from this feature, you can add those type of information in your graph. Okay. Now we can explore more, uh, exploring all those features, how we can use in your graph. Uh, from this video, I hope you learn about how you can use this ArcGIS map in your presentation. 
Whether you really need this graph or not, that depends on your project requirement. But this is a very nice feature to explore uh, in your presentation purpose. But one point I noted that it's a little bit slow. I feel it's because of the online data. So it depends on your date speeds and everything. So it's a little bit slow. I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, please share with your friend. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please sub don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.